Welcome to Majestic UI, a collection of beautiful Flutter widgets and pages for you to import into your own project to get started quickly. Let me show you how it works. On the introduction page, you can see what it's all about. The idea is simple. Instead of adding everything as a package, what if you could import Flutter code directly into your project? The code you import from Majestic UI is yours to modify. That is why the implementation is quite simple and the documentation will improve over time. Moving on to the installation page, you will need to execute this command to activate the Majestic UI CLI. So I'll just copy this command over here, go over to my terminal and paste it. There you go, Majestic UI 1.0.3 is now activated. Let's remove this. And before I move any further, let me just give you a quick tour, starting with the profile page. Here you get to see a basic yet beautiful profile screen with page title and other kind of font and text styles already worked up, so you don't have to spend time on figuring that out. You can go over the code tab to figure out how to import this widget and how to utilize it. Since this is just a page, I've also included the code to navigate to the profile page. To add it to your project, just scroll down a bit and you'll get to see the installation section. We've already completed step one. So I'll just copy this command, go back over to my project and paste this at the root of my folder. A new folder called Majestic slash UI has been created under which you get to see this profile page. You are free to change it however you like. For now, I'll just leave it as is and go back to the documentation. Scroll down a bit more and you get the option to set up the whole thing manually with a really nice tab view. The last section over here lists any dependencies that the code might have. Let's check out this auth page. Upon this auth page, you get to see a beautiful UI along with the code, you get to see how to import this auth page. Uh, you get to see how to make use of it and how to navigate to it just like the profile page. In the dependencies section, you can see that the auth page is dependent on a plugin called auth size text. And at the end, I have put a note that says these dependencies will be auto installed when the widget is installed. Let's see how that works. Once I add this, I get the note that asks for my permission to install auto size text. When you press enter, by default, it installs these dependencies and lists them in your popspec.yaml file, right over here. And within my file system, I can see that an auth page was created for me. Let's check out the welcome page. Every app needs a welcome page to quickly show to the user what the app is all about. And this UI does exactly that. You get the option to click on this button that takes you to different screens and the background color changes in a really elegant manner. I really encourage you to take a look at the website and explore the rest of the pages as well. I'm really excited about showing the widgets that we have over here. First, we have the star rush background and you can see how amazing this looks. This will really enhance the look and feel of your app. Next, the animated button widget. It makes use of mesh gradient to create these amazing buttons that can give a really unique look to your app. And this is how you can use it. Just go over to the code and you get to see exactly how this UI was made. Next, we have the grid background. I was really impressed by this type of loading screen in the CRUD app, so I thought of building it in Flutter. You can use it while awaiting for a response of an asynchronous task. Lastly, the Avtar widget efficiently handles empty state by initially showing a random background with the first letter of the text provided to it. So let me try that again. Uh, yeah, once the image is ready, it smoothly fades in. Let's say I want to add this to my project, so I'll just copy it from here, paste it, and this depends on cache network image, so I'll allow it to install that for me. Awesome. At the end, I've also added a section called request a widget. Uh, using this, you can reach out to me and share a widget idea that you would like me to host on this platform, or you could suggest me any of the feedback that you might have, or some of the things that I might have missed in, in these widgets or the pages. How you can reach out, you can simply reach out to me on Twitter or LinkedIn. I'll even add an invitation to the official Discord server over here. And I really hope that you find this tool helpful.